swear, living in New York, <sighs> always fucking amaze y'all. New York never ceases to amaze me. I swear, it's like, <laughs> the encounters that I be having here in New York, man. So, I am out, right, in Queens, taking care of business. And there is this woman that approaches me. Yo, <laughs> I just got home, by the way, and it is outside, yo. Oh my gosh. It's fucking amazing, yo. And that song is stuck in my head. It's Christmas time in the city. <laughs> Soon it will be Christmas Day too much light so I'm out I'm out in Queens taking care of business right and there's this woman who approaches me and she's she's an Asian woman and when she approached me she's like giving me respect saying I honor you I praise you you're a queen and that's nothing out of the ordinary Believe it or not, I get that like a lot of places I go from people of different races, even white people, Caucasian people. I live, I live out here in Upper East Side, Manhattan. I get that from them. When I go to the hood, I get it obviously from my brothers, my sisters. So it's not that that is uncommon or an uncommon experience for me. Um, but she was like blessing me and showering me with all this praise. And she was just like... And then, like, she she went her separate way, right? And then she came back to me, and then she was asking me. She was like, can I ask you something? And I was like, yeah. She was like, what is that? What is that? All right, I'm thinking she's talking about my folder here. This, right? Because I had this in my hand. And I'm like, what? And then she was pointing. And then she pointed at this. And I'm like, this is a bull. It represents strength. And she was like, oh. She was like, I want to tell you something. In the coming week, weeks, she said, in the next coming weeks, in the next two weeks, she says, there's going to be a man coming into your life. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? Now, granted, y'all know I'm on a dating scene, right? And I have come across a nice flavor of different kind of men. Um, even recently, uh, I came across this very interesting guy. Interesting character, by the way. I don't want to go too much in detail, but very interesting guy. Um, was very, like, in tune with nature and things of that sort. And, like, you know, he's on my radar. I'm like, hmm. But for her to say, she was like, in the next coming weeks. She said two to be exact. She was like, in two weeks. <laughs> I'm just like, here we go. Now, it's been a while since I had someone prophesy over my life. Granted, I know recently I just did a video on spiritual gifts, right? So, I'm um, very much aware and adept to those kinds of abilities because I believe I possess certain kind of spiritual abilities and I talked about that in my video on spiritual gifts how I can like see into the future I can like I sense things that sometimes other people aren't aware of within themselves I can sense if something like bad is going to happen I can sense that somebody has like some bad energy within them. So I talked about that in a video. You guys can go back and watch that because I don't want to make this video too long. I'm actually about to have lunch. But I can tell when somebody has like a spiritual gift, right? And I'm looking at her eyes and her eyes are kind of glazed. And she made eye contact with me. But when she was speaking this prophecy, like... 
over me, she was kind of staring out into the distance, right? But I can feel her energy, and I, can, I felt that it was good energy. <laughs> so she was like, yeah, he's going to come to you in two weeks. She was like, and, and she saw that I'm reacting, and I'm responding, and I'm kind of being open and receptive to what she's saying, right? So I'm like, yeah, she was like, yeah, you deserve love. You deserve to be loved. And I'm just like, it's funny because I had this conversation with this person, right? This guy. And we're talking about like dating, love, compatibility. And it's just, I feel like, yo, the universe is fucking amazing. I have to say that the universe is amazing because... Like, I was having a conversation with him, and this is something that I've been thinking about myself, how, like, in terms of dating, right? And I've had, I made videos about this before, like, dating interracially, dating outside one's race. He asked me the question, he was like, would you date someone outside your race? And I'm like, it's interesting that he would ask me that, considering, I feel like we're, we're, we're the same race, right? I feel like we're both black. Um... But I didn't ask him how he identifies, like, if he identifies as black. Because the person can be, like, let's say Hispanic, Latino, Puerto Rican, or from the Caribbean island doesn't necessarily mean they identify as black. But I think he identifies as black. But so when he was asking me that question, it was like, we was building a conversation on that, right? And I'm like, you know what? I thought about that before. I made a video about it, actually, or several videos about, like, dating outside one's race. And he asked me from the perspective of me being a woman, will I date outside my race? And also, what I think about, like, black men who date outside their race. And I said, I get it. I totally get it, right? I can see things from many different perspectives, right? And I say, looking through the lens of being a Pan-African, being pro-black, of course, I would want to date someone within my race, right? In terms of just to say, to preserve the, the race genetically. Um, because genes do matter. Like, who you choose to procreate with genetically. It matters on a biological level. Melanin. <laughs> Melanin be popping. Um, but it also matters, like, on a political, social level, too. And I broke that down. In terms of what it means to date within one's race. And the, the implications that it has if a black person, especially being pro-black, dates outside of their race, right? Um, the negative implications. Because, um, you know, it, like symbols matter. And when you see a black man with a black woman, that's a symbol. It's a, it's a, it's a, type, it's a status symbol. It's a representation. It's a political statement. It speaks volumes, right? So I see it from that perspective. But from a spiritual perspective, right, which I think when we talk about spirituality, we talk about like consciousness and reaching higher levels of consciousness and and being in tune with thyself and in the universe. Through that lens, race really doesn't matter. When you think about race, race is a is a social construct, it's a social and political construct, right? That we kind of been like thrust into, you know, this whole issue with racism, racial oppression. It's something we were born into. We're just like, here you go. This is a race that <laughs> you are. And then boom, this is a context and this is the, the platform in which, you know, things are happening. And you're just like... When you reach a certain level of consciousness, higher consciousness, right, and spirituality, deeper spirituality, you come to realize, like, yo, this is a stage that we're on. Like, we're kind of, like, invited to the stage, like, kind of against our will, just kind of placed on this stage, this stage of, of racism. And it's like we have to play, uh, participate in this fucking fiasco like this war this race war right but in terms of a deeper level of spirituality it's like it really doesn't matter and I can say this very confidently in a sense that 
yes, it race matters, but it doesn't matter, right? Because there's different ways you can look at it, right? So it matters in a sense that I just already spoke upon, like politically, right? And, and having that representation and making a statement. Um, and of course, preserving one's race, genetically speaking. But it doesn't really matter when you think about how the universe works on a spiritual level. It doesn't really see race or color in that respect right because i'm like how i know this because i i live this i live in the spirit realm and walking about and existing right it's like you know what you're going through right in your present time in your present moment oftentimes people really around you don't know what's happening so i think it's amazing how like I see this happening in my own life, right? It's being manifested in my own life where, especially living out here in Upper East Side, predominantly white, upper class neighborhood, is like, yo, people, the universe has a way of speaking through people to you. And it resonates. And it's just like, they don't know. But how do they know the right thing to say? It's just because they're being used. They don't even know that they're being used, right? They don't know that it's the universe speaking through them to you so it doesn't matter and, and and not only does that happen on a human level but it happens with all living things and just happenings within the universe it's just like you can be walking and boom find some money on the ground and it's just like how did that like the placement of that the timing the alignment of that right um, you can be going through something and then a person, doesn't matter their race, can be speaking words of affirmation to you that are like head on. Like I'm talking about they nail it and it's just like how would they even know? They don't know but it's just like the universe is speaking through them directly to you about your situation. Right? And that's happened to me so many times, yo. And it's just like, Damn. So when you have not have those moments like that, yes, I come to this confirmation, this 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 awareness, this higher awareness, right, this higher consciousness, and knowing that it's bigger than race, y'all. It's bigger than fucking race. It's deeper than race. Um, and so to have this encounter today with this woman, she's an Asian woman and she said that, and then <laughs> here's the, here's the kicker y'all. She was like, yes, it's going to be an Italian man. And I'm like, Italian. I said this to her. I'm like, Italian. She was like, yes, I know. I know that you have a type. She said, like, yo, I cannot make this up. She's like, I know you have a type, and that may not be your type of man. And she's looking at me, right? She's looking at me, <laughs> clearly. I think that just who I am, I, I emanate a certain type of, like, identity. And, and, and I might, well, how you present yourself to the world, like, it speaks volumes, right? So it's, it's clear, and I think she picked up on that, and especially with her being in tune with spirit. It, like, I don't have to have a pro-black sign across my face to clearly know that I'm very much in tune with my roots and who I am, my identity, right, my heritage, and to know that obviously that's my preference and a mate. It's funny because, yo, I had another experience just a couple days ago, and I was on a train. I was on a platform, actually. And I was leaving, there was this black man, older black man. He was sitting down. I was getting off the train and I was exiting. And he was sitting down waiting on the train. And he was like, hi, miss. Excuse me, miss. He was like, that's a really nice coat. And he asked me where I got it from. He was like, did you make it? I was like, no. But it makes me wonder. I get like access so much, kind of make me want to think like maybe maybe I should start designing clothes. But anyway, I was like, no, I got it from this shop in um Brooklyn, this African shop in Brooklyn on Flatbush Avenue. He was like, oh, he looked at me. He was like, yeah, I bet you the type of woman that you only talk to men who are grounded. <laughs> I thought that was funny, yo. I'm just like, clearly he knows. So why even ask, right? 
It was more of a rhetorical question. But for him to say that means that obviously he can pick up on my demeanor and not just the way I'm dressed, but like in my spirit, my energy, you can pick up on that. Like you can feel it, yo. You can feel that. You can feel my energy. You can tell, like, I ain't with that bullshit. I'm just not, yo. Um, my energy is powerful. And I was just having this conversation with uh, this guy. Very wonderful guy. Very, like, just magical guy. He's very magical. And I'm like, we're talking. We're just talking about, like, dating and, you know, just spirits. It's like a lot of different topics. And I was talking about my experiences. And I think I, I expressed this to you guys how I, <laughs> it's funny. I think it was funny. And I got to end this video because I'm hungry. Um, but I think it's funny how um, I was dating this guy, right? This Puerto Rican guy. This was like months ago. And his energy was, he had like this nervous energy, just unsettled energy. And I'm like, yo, you okay? And we're on a first date and he's like trembling and sweating. And I'm just like, why, yo? <laughs> why? I, I feel like I should be the one that's nervous, right? But he was so nervous and I, and it just made me wonder like, and that's not the first time because I've had that experience. It's like, not with... Not with, like, every guy I'm going to date with, but if he's not, like, nervous, it's like he feels inadequate. It's just, like, they pick up on my power and they be trying to, like, overcompensate for the the insecurity and inadequacy that they feel within themselves. So, I just find it to be, like, yo, it's kind of mind-blowing to me because I know, like, who I am. I know that I'm a very powerful person, right? But I feel like I'm very much in touch with my human side. Like, I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm human. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, little old me, how could I be that intimidating? Um, I've had this experience even with people within a professional setting, too. It's just like... Got people shaking in their boots, yo. Like, it's it to me, like, I don't know. It's like, it's it's wild. It's a wild thing to me. Like, just, I don't know. But my, my friend kind of explained it to me. It was like, yeah, yo, you hold a certain kind of energy. You possess this power. People recognize that power. Not to even mention, like, oh, in their own mind, they have this perception of who you are based on your credentials and being a doctor and then they feel your energy, and it's just like, it's my, my even before I became a doctor, you I had supervisors that literally were just like unsettled in their seat, you know. I've been on interviews with NYPD, yeah, yo, like high level people within NYPD, and they, I, yo, their energy, like they're, they're, <laughs> it's funny, they're like, I can see like when a person is fearful and, and afraid and nervous. And insecure, and I was like just reading their energy in the room. It's just like, yo, they outnumber me in the room, but they're afraid of me. I, yeah, yo, it's just weird, but I get it. I think a lot of things just happen on the subconscious level. That's what it is. And the spirit within me is like communicating with other people's spirit. And I think. It sometimes I think it happens on a subconscious level for the most part where like I don't know what my spirit is saying to their spirit, but it's saying something because I can I can see see the person's reaction. <laughs> I can see the person's reaction, yo. <laughs> but anyway, going back to the topic, it's related though. So she's saying like, yeah, he's gonna be Italian. I'm just like, mm. But it may yo, I swear, after that encounter, I just had that encounter like a couple hours ago before I came home. And I swear, it's like, it made me think. Because no, not anybody can just come up to me and just be speaking shit like words and some, like, you know, no. Not with the guard that I have. And it's an automatic guard that I have a uh, uh, kind of film of protection around me. I'm not that receptive, but for like this to happen, I'm just like, I kind of 
felt that it had some truth to it, but I had to, I had to challenge the whole, <laughs> I'm like, Italian? I had to challenge that part. I'm like, Italian? I mean, I don't mind you speaking prophetic love into my life, right? Um, if you have some psychic ability or some spiritual ability, you can see that love is coming into my life, right? In the next two weeks, I receive that <laughs> wholeheartedly, but... It made me think when she said, like, specifically, she was like, yeah, he's Italian. Like, she was, like, looking out. As she was, like, prophesying this, she was, like, looking out kind of, like, into the distance. But she was standing right, like, sitting right there in front of me. And I'm like, damn. Do she, she, it's like she saw him. I want to ask, like, damn, what did he look like? But it's funny because she's not necessarily, like, you know how you have people that are psychic, so they go advertising and trying to get money. She wasn't that type of person. This was just some random lady, yo. <laughs> this is some random lady I saw in Queens um, out in public. And for her to approach me like that, which I don't have those experiences. Like, I can't remember the last time I had someone speak, like, prophecy in my life. I think the last time I had that was, I was a little girl. And it was my um, cousin, my older cousin. I was a little girl, but she was like an older cousin, a very spiritual woman. And I remember her words. She was looked at me and she was like, you're going to be a model. She was like, I don't know what type of modeling or when, but I just know you're going to. And the way she said it, yo, you know how people have the, like that power to speak with that, that affirmation. Like they speak with, with such like certainty and conviction and she had that and I'm just like I felt her words I was like ooh, I felt like that like vibrating all throughout my being like okay <laughs> um so that was the last time I had like a pro someone like prophesy over my life like that and for it to be actually be true um for the prophecy to actually come true. But this, I don't know. I'm going to come back. I'll probably come back to you guys in a couple of weeks. And we shall see. <laughs> Italian. I'm just like, now it got me wondering like, hmm. <laughs> I'm mean, looking at Italian men now. <laughs> More like a self-fulfilling prophecy. But nah. I like, I'm the kind of woman. Like, I don't approach men. Especially when it comes like, to dating. Like, I'm not going to make the first move. I'm not going to ask a guy out. Like, nah. Not my thing. Um, but it's weird, though. And it's funny because I think about, like, okay, I'm like, who do I know that... What men, what Italian men do I know? I really don't know any necessarily that have come, like, in my periphery, right? Except for um, one of my favorite pizza shops in Chelsea neighborhood which is like lower manhattan I like to go down there it's one of my favorite places and every time i like i've been going down there this like it's it's italian right it's a real deal italian piece of restaurant he always give me free food he's just like here but he's younger i'm just like nah nah nah, nah. <laughs> i can tell he likes me though but it's just like it's funny just like their love language and how like Italians are like he's very giving I feel like his, his, his gestures are innocent in a sense like he's not expecting anything right he's just like giving but he's looking at me you can tell like he has fixated on me you can tell like every time I come he recognized me too like he remembers me I don't go down there like every week or nothing it's more like probably once every six weeks or once every two months it's like here and there but when I go, it's just like, he right, he remembers me. He's like, oh, hey, how you been? And I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's like, okay, granted, if business, if people trying to get, like, their business up, right, or they want return customers, yeah, I get it. You know, that's not uncommon in business. But I feel like this is a little bit more than, like, <laughs> a business gesture I feel it was more like something to it but nah he too young for him I can tell he's young um, I just think it's cute but having said that I'm like I don't know I don't know that that would be interesting to date outside my race I've never dated outside my race I have not dated outside my race um 
So that would be in, that would be that would be that would be funny. That would be interesting. But who knows? I think love has no bounds. And I'm gonna say this before I end. Speaking along the lines of like how the universe uses things, people, situations, occurrences, like anything to speak to you. I feel like her prophecy over me today was right on time. I don't come on here and, and share with you guys everything, right? I'll give y'all like flavor bits and pieces of my life, right? But I do not like... I, it's a lot of things y'all just won't see, right? And it's weird because my heart knows this. My heart knows. And for her, it's like she's speaking to my heart. But on that note... I'm going to end this video. <laughs> I will give you guys an update to see. Like, hmm. <laughs> that will be interesting. Probably even better if he's mixed with black. <laughs> he got some melanin in his, uh, <laughs> in his skin tone, his complexion. But I'll catch you guys later. Drop your comments below and let me know what y'all think about this. When was the last time someone prophesied over your life? Hmm. And it actually came true. <laughs> it's Christmas time in the city. All right. Love you guys. Catch you guys later. <laughs>